we made it to Utah and we're at a giant church and there's also mountains surrounding this town and they're so pretty. Yeah, we're exploring before we go to Salt Lake. Grocery haul because I love doing grocery hauls. Today we went to Walmart. We went in for seven items and came out with an overflowing bag. I'm just gonna show you the highlights as always. So let's get into it. Obviously Dots pretzels because I'm obsessed. Eno always chews the bags to grapes, no matter what she will get up as soon as she hears noise sprints to it and eats it since i got pretzels that got oreo thins i got a whole bunch of kiwis because i love kiwis we found pumpkin spice hot chocolate that we are definitely having tonight we got supplies to make soup because i've been craving soup last but not least creamer pumpkin spice for me and coconut cream for zach also look at her she's eating the bag of grapes but that's all the fun stuff we got. The rest was all normal restock stuff. We made it to Utah's Capitol building. It's gigantic. We were gonna go to a temple, but it's completely covered in construction, which is like so, so disappointing because it looks beautiful. My hair is so staticky today. It's so annoying. We went to the Capitol building and across the street was a little like Utah souvenir shop. So we got a sticker, a Salt Lake City sticker to put on the back with all our other ones. And when we got to the counter, there was a sign that said if you leave us a review, you get a free sticker. And Zach leaves the reviews everywhere we go. So we got it. We are outside of Salt Lake City now. We found a place to spend a couple days. So we're heading there, but first we came to a dump station. And this is the view. Literally, dump station right there. And then this. It's like the prettiest dump station in the world. We finished our stay in at the top of a mountain. But we stayed there for like seven days and we were gross and crusty dusty because there was no showers there and we ran out of water. So we just went to Planet Fitness and this is the view from the Planet Fitness. But now we're going to Harbor Freight because we need a little thing for the RV. And then we're going to Trader Joe's. I'm going to make a whole video about shopping, a haul, and a taste test. I'm stoked. We just went to Trader Joe's and loaded up and it was so good. We're about to go get our hair cut. This is the before of me, and then this is the before of Zachary. See you after. We got our hair cut. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, you know, my hair is short and she's curled, which I never curl it, but it's curled. And then Zachary, he's got like no hair. I know, it's nice. So we're at a random hot spring in the middle of Utah and we were in a giant pool and now we're in a bathtub on the side of a little rock. Literally hot, a bathtub. Hot spring water coming at us. It's so odd. Good experience. We also got lost and we found where the spring water all comes from. We're gonna chill. We have two hours in here and we're gonna watch the stars in this tiny little bathtub on oh, the side of a rock. Here, though. Good morning. After the hot springs last night, also those were very peaceful, but so random. I'm glad we did it though, it was a good experience. But after that, we came back to the RV, drove to a Walmart, and then we watched Princess Diaries, went to bed. Oh, we also went to Walmart and got ice cream yes. and had that while we watched Princess Diaries and it was amazing. And I forgot how much I love that movie. And then this morning I started my period and I've had probably the worst cramps I've ever had. So Zach went grocery shopping without me and he made me coffee and I read. And now we're going to a little cafe cause it's, I think it's almost 12 and we haven't eaten anything. We had breakfast and it was so good. We had some really good biscuits and gravy. And then we walked around a little and went to a board game store and bought a board game and a present for my dad's birthday. Future me popping in, I forgot to tell you all the things we got and like show you them. So first up, we went to a board game store and we got this Clever Forever game. We've played this like five times already since we've had it and it's been a couple days. It's very fun. It's very good if you want a quick game, like instead of playing Uno, you want something more like strategy focused. Perfect game for it. We got this little Charmander at that same store and it's 3D printed and he's so cute. And with him, we got a little Vaporeon. I love the hollow 
on it. So these are presents for my dad. He's gonna get that when he comes to Vegas with us. And when we were leaving this town, we passed something in the park, like Rocktober or something. It's Rocktober, yeah. It looks like there's a bunch of vendors. So we came back and we're gonna go see what it's all about. And hopefully it's a fun time. Yep. Okay. And then we're going to Love's tonight. We're gonna have some fun before we go to Love's. Fun facts. We have had not the greatest morning. It's like 5.30 now, I think. But we basically gave up on this morning and doing anything. And we went to a Planet Fitness and played a board game in the parking lot. And then we went in and showered. Then we went to our second target of the day. Because the first one was the itty bittiest little thing and didn't have crap for anything fun. And that's what we want. So we just discovered another one on our way to get Chinese food that we are using to make this day a little better because we didn't take out any meat to make for dinner and it's been a crappy day so we want Chinese. So <laughs> we were passing this Target and it's huge. So we stopped in and I got Milano pumpkin spice cookies. They're gonna be in my fall taste test video. So if you haven't watched that, go back and watch it because it's gonna be so good. And then we got pumpkin spice whipped cream also gonna be in that video. And then I got candy corn crunch trail mix stuff and this sounds heavenly. Those were all 20% off, which is terrific. And then Zach got a book that he's been wanting for a very long time. And it's only been like $30 everywhere else. Yeah, it's been a lot. But we price matched on Amazon and we got it for like $17.50. Saved like $15 on that book. And now we're gonna go get our Chinese food and I can't wait. Hello, we got crumble. Yesterday we went to a crumble and they were closed because it was a Sunday and we forgot they closed on Sundays. But we just tried the pumpkin cookie for my fall taste test video. If you wanna go see that, I'll have it linked somewhere. We're starting with the pop tarts. I'm excited about this one. Oh, it's very like soft. Perfect. There's stuff inside. Look at that. Like the filling of the pop tart. Okay, I want just a bite of the pop tart first. Me too. The inside is super, super soft. That soft. This one's more like- It's a lot. Sticks to your mouth a lot. No, it's a lot of flavors. Mm-hmm. Mm. I really like the texture of the cookie though. Just the icing on top tastes like white chocolate. This one's really good. The cookie is like chocolate chip batter without the chocolate chips. And then it's like white chocolate on top. And then the strawberry in the middle is super almost sour. It's not very sweet. So it balances so well. It balances well. It's a lot to take in. I really like the texture of the cookie itself. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I like the inside. You want to break the red velvet one? Yes. This, this is the one, one I'm excited good. about. It's red velvet. <laughs> Show the split at least. Okay. It's a crumbly one. You're not gonna like this one. Mm -mm. The cookie is way too chocolatey. See, I disagree with that. I don't really like cream cheese frosting. For my favorite cookie. We haven't rated these. Ah, uh, that's okay. You wanna rate them? That's what you do on a taste test. Uh, okay. You're going so fast. Well, I'm excited. Calm down. Okay, what do you rate the Pop Tart? Okay. Take a break. <laughs> you think we have a place to be? We don't. We have nowhere to be today. We're not moving. We're going eight minutes to a park so we can work all day. I give the Pop-Tart an eight. Okay. A lot better than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do like eight, eight and a half. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin? Pumpkin, oh, wait, we already did. Yes, okay. Red Velvet. Red Velvet, I really do like the frosting. Mm -hmm. I do think the cookie, they try to put too much chocolate in it. Not too much to enjoy, but I definitely couldn't eat that whole cookie in one sitting. No, like I would need, need a, a couple bites. I need like one bite and I'm good for like half the day. <laughs> like it's a lot, yeah. but I really do enjoy the frosting. I do like cream cheese. I also am a very big fan of subtle flavors. So not overwhelming, but like subtle. Like if it was less red chocolate, that would be like my ideal cookie. Mm -hmm. So what do you rate it? I match the pop tart. Yeah. With an eight. Okay, I give it a four. I knew you wouldn't like it. I, I tasted the cream cheese and how cream cheesy it was. Mm -hmm. I knew you were gonna dislike it. The thing that's really putting it low is the actual cookie. Yeah, it's I still too have much too flavor. Much chocolate in my mouth. Same. That's why I'm like, it's like a one bite. You walk away. You yeah. let it sit. You let it sizzle. Now we may go on <laughs> to the last cookie. Yes, yeah, love you. You're like, I love you this can, cookie so much. You have so no much. control when it comes to crumble. 
I know. This, I already love. This yes. is my favorite cookie from Crumble that she I've could, had so far. I want I the pink one. The chilled pink one that tastes like coconut because coconut extract. No, almond. Almond. <laughs> and it's so good. It's so good. See how she gave me the smaller one. <laughs> also, fun fact, I don't really like semi-sweet chocolate. So this one, semi-sweet chocolate chip cookies, I haven't gotten because I prefer milk chocolate. I was thrown off hardcore there. By what? I'm like one of those people that if you just give me a cookie without chocolate chips in it, I'll devour it. So like when I got the bite of cookie and then followed by that insane amount of chocolate, kind of ruined it for me. But the chocolate's so smooth and melty. It's not overly sweet. 10 for that. I would prefer the others in this box. Unless I had milk. I feel like milk would elevate that. A pop tart is competition for the chocolate chip but they're two completely different like vibes yeah now we eat these over the course of a week yep yum that was so good okay worth it it was definitely worth it